Hello, I am making this video to teach you how to do a recurring Zoom meeting. First of all, if you have not downloaded the Zoom app, go ahead and pause the video and take a minute to download the Zoom app. All right, now that you have the Zoom app, what we're going to do is we're going to click on it and sign in. Now this is super important. Don't sign in with your email and password here from school. We need the professional Dade County version in order to make a recurring meeting. So we want to sign in with SSO. Over here it will normally prompt you, do you know your company domain? You're going to say yes. Your company domain is dadeschools.zoom.us. So if you have not done this before, it is going to send you an email to authenticate you, and then you'll be able to come back in with your teacher credentials. So once we have it, this is what it's going to look like. And here is our home page. Now what we want to do is we want to um, schedule that recurring meeting. So we're going to go to schedule here. And you see we get this lovely recurring meeting option. So I teach music, so I'm going to go ahead and make this one second grade music. And today is Wednesday, so I'm going to go ahead and schedule it for my class tomorrow, which is at 10 a.m. And it ends at 11 a.m. Now I'm going to hit that recurring because it is going to be every week at that time. I can leave my meeting ID so it generates automatically, but what I like to do for my password is make it an easy password for my kids. So I'm gonna make that music. I'm going to turn on the host video. My participants video is on. I'm gonna leave it so it's telephone and computer audio. I'm gonna leave my iCal calendar because I have an Apple computer. Um, so that reminds me and then I'm going to have my advanced options. I, I want to leave my enable waiting room on um, and if we want to automatically record the meeting we can do that. If we want alternate hosts, if you have a partner teacher you can do that and then we hit schedule. Alright, once we hit schedule you're going to be able to see your meeting here. Here's my second grade meeting. I'm going to go ahead and click on that. If I want to start the meeting, I come into my Zoom app to begin the meeting. Here are all my meetings for my classes. Um, if I want to share my invitation, which I do with my students, I'm going to copy it. Okay. Now let me show you what this looks like. And I do recommend that you paste all your invitations onto a Word document or a document of some sort. I don't need all this information for my kids. I do need to know it's second grade music. I know it's recurring. They don't need to know that. Um, I know that that's my Zoom meeting link. This is the most important thing. The link, the meeting ID, and the passcode. I don't need all this, so I'm going to erase this. Now, this is super important to put it on a separate document because when we go to Teams, we need to grab this and put it into Teams. All right, so I'm going to make a second video now about how we're going to put this into Teams in a way that is going to make it very user friendly for our students and kind of take ideas from what was in the K-12 platform that made it so student friendly. So I'll see you in the next video.